presenting a video brought to you by RK Loves Gadgets. It's time for another exciting video from RK Loves Gadgets. And today we're going to be taking a look at some Simon games, which is quite a good bonus to look at on YouTube. Now, some of these were quite popular. Simon is quite popular from Hasbro. Uh, the first one was made in 1978, which is nowadays quite rare. And, um, yeah, uh, well, lots of different Simon games were released over the, over the years, from 1978 and, uh, till now. So what I'm going to be taking a look at is a few different, one of my Simon games that I have in front of me here. We have this one. This one is called, well, I'm not entirely sure what this one is called. Um... I believe it's called Simon Tricks, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyone that uh, recognises this, could you leave in the comments uh, more about this one? Um, maybe somebody had it, maybe they had the instructions, but I do know it's made in 2005 by Hasbro, it's, you know, made in China. You got the battery compartment, it holds three AA batteries, and you have the reset button in case you have any malfunctions. And there's a switch that um, switches from try me to game. So say if it's in the packaging, it would be in try me mode. So then when you unbox it, you would have to switch it to game mode in order to play it. You can see the four colored buttons on there. So you've got the red and the green and the yellow and the blue. And you have a couple of controls here. One's last and longest. So you can repeat the last game you've played. And you can repeat the longest that you've um, played. And then the bottom one's an on button. So when I press that. Lights come on. Simon Tricks. So those are all the games, so if you want to play Simon a classic, classic. classic, just press the Go. red. Later. Let's try that again. Go. Some of the Later. ropes are quite confusing. Go. Go. So that's the Simon Classic, so you're basically playing it like the traditional Simon Says game. And if you go back to the menu... Simon Classic! Now... Simon Bounce! Simon Surprise! Simon Bounce! Simon Bounce! Go! Later! I don't know how to play Simon Bounce, so again, if anybody knows about this particular Simon, yeah, um, I've had this since 2015, I picked this up second hand from a charity shop and it had no instructions with it, but yeah, um, Simon Bounce, I'm not entirely sure, but going back to classic, okay, so if you want to um, play the last game, you just press last and it just does so basically when you're playing just ignore that that's the sound of my talking watch in the background but yeah you get the idea so the last just um it's just lets you know how, how well you've done. And the longest game, so you just press the button twice. Longest. And it's basically playing, repeating the longest game you've played. Simon Classic. Simon Surprise. Right, 
Simon, Go. Simon, surprise! I cannot play that because uh, it's kind of like it makes a ch noise. So there's no sound signals, but there's light signals. Um, so that would be um, where you uh, just recognise it by light. Okay, and Simon rewind. Simon rewind. Go. Now you think you would give you a sequence. Gives you a sequence and you have to repeat that sequence in reverse order. So go. So if you, if you uh, yellow red and you would go so red yellow yellow and you would do it the other way round. So that's basically that Simon Simon tricks I think it's called. So that's that one, and then we've got this one. This is one of the latest ones. This is one of the later ones. This one's called Simon Swipe. And basically the idea behind this one is the colours are touch sensitive. So, basically it says Simon Swipe. We have a button here to press to turn it on. The speaker's right here as well. And you've got the um, colours. And they're touch sensitive. And basically the idea behind this is when you're playing, sometimes you can tap the colours or you can swipe them. I'm going to show you the back, there's the battery compartment. This also takes three AA batteries and you've got the information. And you've got a reset button and again the try me and game switch. And when you turn this thing on, okay, now the lights are flashing. It has a volume so you can press it quickly. Now, again, there's four ways to play. So there's a classic game on yellow. So if you touch the yellow, and then and it gives you your score as well when you end the game. So. about the scores you have to um, yeah that's the other Simon switching off that uh, the thing with this one you have to uh, count the uh, the beeps that accompanies your score and how well you did and if you want yeah it makes that noise when it shuts off so if you stop playing for 15 seconds or more it turns off by itself and you can turn it back on again and if you want to listen to the highest score, you hold the button down. And it basically gives you the, the score. And the levels game, which is on the red, which is pretty cool. Difference though, you have to swipe the yellow. Now on to level two. Oops. Now, what's really nifty about this, you can basically you can choose the level, or you can just start the whole game from the beginning. So there's different colours. So you got. Le so you've got all the choice of levels, so you have level 1 and 2 on red, 3 and 4 on blue, 5 and 6 on yellow, and 7 and 8 on green, and it goes up to 16 levels, so... 
So if you want to go to, uh, from 9 to 16, you just do that. And then again, you just touch one of the colours. And this is actually pretty complicated, especially on the higher levels. So that's quite a nifty one for Hasbro to come up with. This came out in, I believe it was 2014. Now, on the blue game, this is extreme and it goes on forever and ever. Well, if you have the longest, well I wouldn't say forever, but if you have the longest memory of all to remember that many sequences, probably goes on until the scores go up to 100 I think but um, again you, if you want to check your high score for the levels game you hold it Extreme, let's say again. So that's 13 points on that one. Now there's the thing, it does get harder and harder and harder as you move forward through the game. And um, there's a lot of different moves um, the game includes. There's swipe, where there's a short swipe where you uh, swipe your finger over one colour. And then there's longer swipes where you swipe your finger over two colours. And then it just gets really hard. And then, and there's also one called uh, a, a U-turn. New turn, however you call it, is where you go reverse. So it's like a, uh, a swipe and a reverse swipe. And this is important. You mustn't lift your finger when you do these moves. Otherwise, you, the game doesn't recognise that you complete the move. And the green, which is it's kind of like a party game, so, you know, say for example, if you've got a bop it, and you you have the pass it mode, and then you do some, uh, where you pass it around to other players, like this, so it plays a tune to indicate that you have to pass it. And if you want to get out of the game and you don't want to play that, you can change your mind. You can just hold down the button and it will take you back to the, the, home, uh, the home setting. And so that's pretty cool. So you can play this with two or more friends if you've got a party and you want to... And it's very nice and easy to pose around. You can roll it around. Obviously you need to be careful on that. So that's Simon Swipe. And we've got this one. This is a mini sign, like a mini pocket Simon. Now this has gone back to where you push the buttons. You've got four buttons. Again, you've got red and blue and yellow and green. And there's the Simon logo on the front. Again, this one's um, 
think this one's a Hasbro made in China. And this one takes two AA batteries. Now, this only has two ways to play. There's now this is kind of like a a, a bop it sort of way. It has solo and pass it, just like on a bop it, but it's in Simon format. So basically, what it is, you have when you turn it on, and any button pre um, turns it on. So. And you can see that the red and green lights are flashing. So you've got pass it on green and solo on red. So to get into solo, you just press the red button, and then you just. And just like Simon Swipe, you've got the level, you go up by levels. You just keep going. And it does get hard, as you saw. There, as you can see, you've got to press down two lights at the same time. And as you go, it gets harder. And you basically So the lights go around as you. And if you want to listen to your high score, you just press down the red. I'm sure that will drive someone mad. If it was going on for that long time, if you got the score all the way up to 100. But yeah, basically, the idea behind the solo, you just, it, um, it starts off as just single, where you just press one light at a time, but then as it gets harder, you have, um, you end up pressing two lights um, at once. There'll be some times where you press down two lights, two lights will come on, you press them down, and then eventually it'll come up to three lights and four lights, it just gets really hard. I mean... And again, pass it is um, now. This is pretty cool because each player. do three signals each. So each player gets up to gets a pattern of up to okay, I thought it was up to three but it does get hard again. The only way you, you could do it is by making a start. You do have a reset button on here again. And this is quite a, neat, a nifty little one, so you can actually put it in your pocket. And, um, and you can actually see it does have the little symbols to represent which is solo and which one's past it. So 
the symbols here. So that's basically a picture of one person and past it is a picture of two people. So you can play this by yourself or with another player. So if you've got a party or something, you can play this with more than, more than one person. So those are all my Simons, although I did have this one, this little guy. Um, it's not that good and there's no batteries in it at the moment. It's not very good to be honest. But there's the information. This one's made by Basic Fun. I'm not entirely sure exactly what year it was made. But the idea behind this one, it has this carabiner clip. So you can clip it to your bag or something like that or to your belt. And you can carry it around, take it, to, take it on the go with you. And it's very, very, very basic. There's no other ways of playing. You just press that button in the middle and then it gives you this thing. It's not very good to be honest because mine, when you put batteries in it, this Simon absolutely streams through batteries. It takes three of those little button cells and they don't last very long. They only last for a week. So that's a bit of a downside to that one. But I actually like Simon. I'm pretty good with them. Um, I'm not sure what my favourite is, but I pretty much like all of them. I recommend them. And the Simon Swipe, it comes in, like, like, I think there, there are three different types of Simon Swipe units. The, this is the normal Simon Swipe. This is like a handheld or, or like a tabletop, if you wish. And then I think there's the Micro Simon Swipe, which is a bit like this, but smaller. And there's a giant, huge Simon Swipe. I'm not entirely sure. I've not seen that one, but I guess that one is absolutely huge. I've seen videos on YouTube of that. It's pretty cool though. I mean, it's very good to entertain friends. So if you've got a party or you just want to have fun with yourself and play the games and just uh, see how high you can go. And uh, these games are addictive. So that's basically all my Simon games. So if anybody has any questions, you can feel free to ask me. And yeah, I do... Um, See if you can let me know in the comments about this Simon, because um, I'm not entirely sure what the Simon bounce, how the Simon bounce works. And I believe this one's called Simon Tricks. So maybe could you let me know in the comments um, of how Simon bounce works? Because maybe you might have had it and you've had the instructions and you, and you know every single inch of it. But um, I don't know how to play the um, Simon bounce. So that's it. So I would like to thank you all for watching this video and hope you have a very nice day, although it's, well, quite wet, but have a good one anyway and I will see you next time in my next upload. Thanks for watching the RK Loves Gadgets video. Please remember to subscribe, press the like button and leave a comment below.